in this question, A is a real number. Now, solve for the real value of A that satisfies this equation, square root of 16 minus A squared plus square root of 9 minus A squared equals 5. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. So, if A here is a real number, then what are the value or values of A that satisfies this given equation? Alright, but before that, before we get to the solution, the first thing we need to do is to get the possible values of A. Now, in this term, square root of 16 minus A squared, A must be from negative 4 to positive 4. Because if A is positive 5, then 16 minus A squared is a negative number. So we don't want a negative number inside the radical sign. Now in this term, square root of 9 minus A squared, A here cannot be greater than or less than negative 3. So A must be between negative 3 and positive 3 inclusive. Now, if we combine these two possible range of A, we can say that A must be from negative 3 to positive 3 only. So it cannot be greater than 3 because if A is 4, 9 minus A squared is a negative number. Though the other term is not negative, but this term, square root of 9 minus A squared is a negative number. So we don't want to have a negative number inside our radical sign. Therefore, the possible values of A must be from negative 3 up to positive 3. Now, let's have our first solution. So, what we're going to do is to subtract square root of 9 minus A squared on both sides. And then what we're going to do is to square on both sides to eliminate the square root. Now, on the left-hand side, we have 16 minus A squared. Now, on the right-hand side, we can expand 5 minus square root of 9 minus A squared squared raised to the power of 2. So this will give us 16 minus a squared equals 25, which is 5 squared. And then minus 2 times 5 times square root of 9 minus a squared, which is 10, multiplied by square root of 9 minus a squared, and square of square root of 9 minus a squared, or simply equal to 9 minus a squared. Now let's combine like terms. Take note, we can eliminate this negative a squared on the left side and negative a squared on the right hand side if we add a squared on both sides. Now, 25 and 9, if we combine these two numbers, we get 34. Then what we're going to do is to subtract 34 on both sides. Now, 16 minus 34, this will give us negative 18. Now, at this point, let's divide both sides by negative 10 to solve for the value of a. And negative 18 over negative 10 is just positive 9 over 5. Now let's focus on this equation to solve for the value of A. Now to solve for the value of A, let's square on both sides to eliminate the square root. So on the left-hand side, we have 81 or 9 squared over 5 squared or simply equal to 25. Now square root of 9 minus A squared raised to the power of 2 this raised to the power of 2 and square root cancel out. So this will give us 9 minus a squared. And to finally solve for the value of a, let's rearrange some terms a little bit. Now, if we want to combine these two fractions, let's multiply this 9 by 25 over 25 to have the same denominator. Now, 9 times 25, this will give us 225. And then what we're going to do is to combine this. So 25 minus 81 over 25. And 25 minus 81 is just 144. Now, to solve for the value of this A, let's get the square root on both sides. But take note, we have two possible values here. We have positive or negative. Now, on the left side, we have here A. And on the right-hand side, square root of 144 is 12. And square root of 25 is 5. So we have positive or negative 12 over 5. Now, if we convert 12 over 5 in decimal, this is just 2.4. So positive or negative 2.4. And it is on the range of the value of A because A is from negative 3 to positive 3. So technically speaking, A must be equal to positive or negative 12 over 5. This is the legit value of A. 
Now, this is our first solution. So we have two possible values for A. Now, how about our second solution? Now, our second solution, we will introduce another variable, and let's call this as x. So let x be equal to square root of 16 minus a squared. We will see the purpose later on. And this square root of 9 minus a squared, we introduce again another variable, and let's call this as y. Now, if we square this first equation, we get that x squared equals 16 minus a squared. And if we square the second equation, oops, this is 9, 9 minus a squared. This is a typographical error. So if we square this equation, we get y squared equals 9 minus a squared. So this value is correct. So in this, we have 9 minus a squared. All right. Now, our original equation becomes x plus y equals 5. Now, if we subtract these two equations, notice that we can eliminate this negative a squared. Because this becomes negative a squared, we have plus, if we distribute this negative sign, we have plus a squared. So this is just 0. So x squared minus y squared is just 16 minus 9. And 16 minus 9 is just 7. Now, using these two equations, we can also solve for the value of x. And if you find the value of x, we get the value of a. Also, if you want to get the value of y, it doesn't matter at all. So to solve for the value of x, what we're going to do is to focus on the second equation because we can factor this using the difference of two squares. This is just x plus y multiplied by x minus y. Now, this x plus y, this is just 5 on the first equation. So we can replace this with 5. Then divide both sides by 5 to get that x minus y is just 7 over 5. Now, if we subtract these two equations, we can eliminate y variable. So if we combine this, if we add these two equations, we get 2x equals 32 over 5 because 5 plus 7 over 5 is just 32 over 5. And to solve for x, divide both sides by 2. Now, this this 32 is just 16 times 2. So if we simplify this, this is just 16 over 5. And we don't want the value of x. We want the value of a. So let's use the first equation to solve for the value of a. Since they are both equal to x, so we can say that square root of 16 minus a squared equals 16 over 5. Now let's focus on this equation and let's solve for the value of a. A. All right, let's square on both sides to solve for the value of A. Now on the left-hand side, we can eliminate squared and square root. So this is just 16 minus A squared. And 16 over 5 raised to the power of 2. 16 squared is 256 and 5 squared is 25. Now rearrange some terms a little bit to solve for the value of A. And if we want to combine these two fractions, let's multiply this 16 to 25 over 25. And 16 times 25, we get 400. Now combine these two fractions. We have 400 minus 256 over 25. 400 minus 256 is just 144. Again, we get this result a while ago. And if we get the square root on both sides, we get that the value of A must be equal to positive or negative 12 over 5. And that is the answer to this question. Therefore, Using two different solutions, we get that the value of A in this equation must be equal to positive or negative 12 over 5. And as always, we are done.